We say all praises be to the creator, all power to his people. In the name of Yahshua, the black revolutionary Messiah, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the spirit of truth and the words of peace. Shalom Aleichem. Giving a special salute to the black messiahs. Our motto is stop waiting for a savior and be one. Stop waiting for a savior and be one. Tonight, going over the Black Messiah mission. It's appropriate in this day and time to go over the Black Messiah mission because the Black Messiahs are a spiritually based activist movement. We're activists with a spiritual basis. So we have a mission. We have a sacred mission that we most fulfill. We must carry out the Most High's work. Regardless of circumstance, Regardless of rain or sun, happiness or sadness, rich or poor, our obligation does not change. The obligation won't change. The obligation is not dependent on how you feel when you get up in the morning. The obligation is not about whether you feel like doing it or not. We have a charge to keep. Our people are suffering. The world is in need of Black Messiah. So, the Black Messiah mission. All Black Messiahs have the same mission. The same mission. When we get up in the morning, we have the same mission. As we walk around during the day, we have the same mission. If we're out jogging, we have the we, we still have to fulfill the mission. If we're at the grocery store, the mission doesn't change. The mission doesn't change where you are, what you got going on, or how you feel. Now, whether you do the mission, that might change, but the mission stays the same. Again, we got a charge to keep family. We have to internalize the mission, walk in the purpose that God has given us because our people are suffering. So, the Black Messiah mission is Isaiah 61, specifically verses 1 through 4. Isaiah 61, 1 through 4. Why did we choose this? This was also Yahshua, the Black Revolutionary Messiah's mission. And if we are continuing his work, We got the same mission. So, Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 4. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And that's a bold statement. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So, when the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, it's in your mind. Your thoughts are governed. By the Spirit of the Lord. Your thoughts are governed. And if your thoughts are governed by the Spirit of the Lord, so are your actions. You internalize it. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. Our people are suffering. They need, they need to know it's hope. Those who are weak 
need to be strengthened. Our people have been so torn down under white supremacy. They need good tidings, strong words, words of hope, words of wisdom, words of truth. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Our people's hearts have been broken. Crushed spirits, mothers dying, babies crying. We got to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Our people are in a mental prison that leads to the physical prison. But more importantly, they're in a mental and a spiritual prison. And we got to break them out of that. We have to break them out of their mental and spiritual prison, prisons so they can be free. To proclaim the acceptable day of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. God don't like ugly. God doesn't like to see his people mistreated. God doesn't like people to suffer. And by our hands and the will of the Lord of hosts. Our mission is to correct that, to comfort all that mourn, to comfort all that mourn. When you see somebody who's down and out, give them a word of encouragement. And if they're in a bad situation, do something to help them if it's in your, your ability. Comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them their mourning Zion. To give to them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Our people. have gravitated towards the worst behavior. Our people have fallen for the enemy's tricks of making evil fair seeming. Our people have fallen for the enemy's tricks of making the word of God null and void. Our people have been used to the murders, used to the killings, used to the poverty, used to the suffering. We got to flip that. Give them beauty for ashes. They have been conditioned to think. Our people have been conditioned to think that what is really evil is good. What is really ugly is beautiful. What is really giving them death is giving them life. We have to rearrange the thinking. And we do it for the glory of the Most High. We do it for the glory of the Most High. And once we do that, what happens? Once we do those three steps, three verses, fulfill that, what happens? They shall build the old ways. They shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. The black community has been destroyed. An enemy has done this. The black community has been purposely destroy. So our mission is 
to repair the temple, to repair the cities. To encourage the people to repair the temple, to rebuild the temple, rebuild the cities, reestablish their connection with the Most High, clean up their neighborhoods, clean up their communities, show the image of strong black men, black women, black kings, black, black queens in the community. And that is our mission, brothers and sisters. That is the Black Messiah mission. That's our first priority when we get up in the morning. The Black Messiah mission. In all walks of life. Whatever we do during the day. That mission is first and foremost. So, as always, we leave you with the Black Messiah motto, stop waiting for a savior and be one. Shalom.